working, dude, this is great. Okay, sorry. Working during uh, withdrawal and post-acute withdrawals. Okay, that's what this is. And I'm going to kind of just, I've made videos about my past uh, and it's really freaking long. It's a good video though. I really, actually, I think it is a good video. Uh, believe it or not, I normally don't think they're good. But I talk about my past of working through like terrible withdrawal. And you know, it would be a few days or whatever and, and this and that. So I've experienced that big time. And then now getting off the Suboxone, this go around. That's kind of what I'm going to talk. That's what I'm going to talk about more. Or that's, my goal. that's the goal. And kind of what I did. Or what, what, how I approached it. Yeah, there you go. How I approached it. Because there's no miracle... Uh, I mean, yeah, you can, sure, you can use other drugs. Sure, you can take Adderall every day. You can, uh, I mean, like, I'm not, this, that's not what this is about. Like, no shit. Sorry, excuse my language. But yeah, yeah, okay, great. Uh, that's easy. I'm not talking about the easy way. We're talking about friggin' doing it, okay? The thing that helped me, the, like, it, this might sound weird. This might sound weird, but this is the truth. This is the mindset I had going into day one at work, okay? Eh, eh, eh. Well, I actually worked day one of Suboxone Withdrawal, took my two weeks off, and then, you know, went back. So my first day back, well, the first day wasn't fun, too, because you're just, anyway. Um, but this was my approach. You'd, I didn't have any energy. I mean, that's just, it sucks. We know that, okay? And you're not sleeping, okay? And you, you're restless, and you just, you have that icky feeling in you, okay? Well, I had gone through it before. You know, I had... I had, I mean, I had had the short days of freaking terrible withdrawal. And then, you know, I had other t two other times where I, one time when I got up morphine and oxy and stuff and I, you know, took two weeks off, went back to work another time, three days. I don't know. I'm not going to get into all of them, but I've done it. That's, that's the thing is I've experienced. So I knew what I, I knew what, what it was going to feel like when I went back to work. Okay. And I just like had it in my mind. My mindset was it's not going to kill me. Okay, like, yes, I don't feel like I have energy and I, and I don't, but it's like, I can't, but I told myself like, dude, if I wanted to, I could run. Like if something happened, if there's a fire, I mean, I, I would run. It's not like, oh, I just, I don't have any energy. I can never run or I can't move fast or I can't lift things. It's like, no, you don't have energy, but you can do it. You freaking can do it. Okay. So I just, I know this might sound stupid, but, but this is just the truth is I just had that mindset where it's like. I'm sorry, but I'm just like bullshit, Gabe. Like you can just, you, like, I was just like, you could just will your way. I pray to pray to God all day, but like, just will your way like a challenge. That's what it really was for me. It was like, I, and I, that's the way I got it in my mind. I have to do that sometimes and really pump myself up <laughs> to, to do stuff. And like, when someone tells me like, you can't do it or like, I don't think you will like, dude. And if I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it out of spite and pride or something. It's terrible, but it's just true. Sorry, but this was, yeah, this, this wasn't one of those occasions, but, um, you just, it was a challenge, dude. And it, and it sucked. It wasn't fun. Uh, but it really did help. And I, I probably already said this, but dude, not focus. You cannot focus on how crappy you feel. You cannot do that. If you do that, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. Cause I I've done it. I've done it. I've gone months. And then because I'm focusing on how crappy I feel, I fail. Seven months, fail. Seven months again, fail. Month and a half, fail. Every time I did that, every time I just, oh man, just, oh, and you're, and you're walking back to pull something and then you're doing this and then you're talking to people. That gets hard, dude. I'm a salesman. Oh, but, uh, and that, that was hard. Not sleeping and stuff, dude, and talking at all. That, that, that's hard. That's where keeping a sense of humor and kind of doing that stuff can kind of help. And, you know, uh, anyway, but, uh. I don't know. I don't think this video is very good, but, but honestly, I know it's not, uh, it's not a lot. And honestly, I I've talked about this before. Like what's, you know, I know it, not everyone can do this, but running on my lunch break, I'd run and shower on my lunch break every freaking day. And it helps so much that helped, that helped me work. It really did. The second half of work was always so much better because, uh, the, the high you get from running, um, but yeah, it, it, it might sound stupid. Some people get mad at them. They just get so pissed off at like what they've done and what they have to go through because they used and stuff. And they say that that helps, which whatever helps you, seriously. Um, but, uh, but yeah, take it on as a challenge, dude. It's not going to kill you and you can do it. That's really the bottom line here 
is it sucks and it's scary. Don't hype it up in your mind and get all scared about it. Take this shit on. Sorry, I, I cuss more now that I'm off Suboxone, by the way. I didn't I forgot to talk about that in the previous video. But uh, you can do it. You can take it on, baby. Okay? I promise. I freaking promise you can. It's a grind, but it can be done. Many, yeah, I've done it, but many other people have done it. Many, okay? God bless all y'all. Be for victory and salute.